Nothing's gonna bring the change Journeys we are meant to take Something at the edge of space Calling us to fly away Hello and welcome to the King's Day Network. I am your gaming host, Kalam Man of Steel, and thank you for joining me here today on War Wednesday, where we continue our journey through Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, Going on with the next saga, it's quite long, so we'll see how long it takes us, but I think we're going to go through the entire thing. Um, so here we go. I already pledged to Lincolnshire, so now we're going to start the saga. You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skull come to join us? Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no scald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your meat. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. You're talking with her now, and you are? Ah, oh, by God's blood, my day begins with a lash of good fortune. I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family, that is a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again? It may be we can help you, but we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection. Now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now, but when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of a shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the room. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that. I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. Hey Norsam, how are you doing? <gasps> Hope you're doing well. 
Aid me. Be my eyes. What's wrong, man? I'll try to help you the best I can. So this is Hunval's safe haven. Cutscene we... again. Philosophy? I mean, I got an A in philosophy in college, so I could try, but it's been a long time since I got that. Who is this stranger? It was about Able. 20 years ago, so Come I can sit. try helping you. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me. One of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvald's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family. Sure, the house of the ferocious swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid what, Lincolnshire what of the ruffians who are you, are you this specific land. method for this? Once and for all. We're going to see your father, Hunwald. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunwald, your father is ill, and your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan, or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend. I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln, away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard. A single dame will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here she'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in. Have you ever seen a blood eagle, my Saxon friends? A what? A blood eagle. A raw, magnificent bird I'll tear from your guts. First, I crush your ribs. Then I pull out your lungs and stretch them into wings so you can fly to your heaven as fast as possible. Jesus fucking Eden. So who are you studying with that you have this question? Because this is you not soccer. Fox. How, are you, how are you doing? That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. Is it locked? Are you setting lock? You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. From, depending on the You'll philosopher you have, that's the, the way you would answer. If I had a scribe jot all down all the occasions, Descartes, I'd Locke, worn that Socrates, stupid boy. Aristotle, Plato. I'd be the most written about man in history. Alvgar. The boorish nag of Lincolnshire. I told Hunwald to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Hunwald's in trouble. I was asking what what philosopher are you studying? I live! I am alive! Because that the way Heaven the person you're studying is probably the way they want you are to answer. Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Bottleston will be remembered for years to come! Alka! We have won our first great victory! Hoonwald, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get... Yes, yes, you're right. 
Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? Look, boats there! We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemies in our way. Oh, you need no life. What were you told when the guards You're not setting any specific philosophers? Oh, scraps of yeah. nonsense. Because, like, using their, their logic a and reasoning is how you probably had to solve said I was an immediate we danger to, to my father. Ha! Horse! Okay. <laughs> Mercy and soldiers then shackled me, rode me... Told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death, hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I cannot help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No, I suspect the order for my hey, exile from doing, on man? high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right. He's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. Well, I guess you can write about the U.S. Them. government and how it is right Abuse. now with their leader, because that's just the, it's pretty much the first thing you put in there. But I guess it's your own opinion, so I can't tell you what your opinion is. Here's Lincoln, the city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. Well, not political stuff, but the mindset of somebody. I'm not talking right politics, though. I'm talking about, like, the actual mindset. Mercy and gods everywhere. Follow me. Right behind you, Shadow Walker. My heart beats... Hunwald! Praise God, you live! I do, my dear Reagan hair, body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Have you looked for him? Oh, I dare not go asking after him, for fear of stepping above my caste. But he'll be in good hands, don't you worry. Up there with the abbess and her sisters and all. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there, at the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Who was that fellow? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place. And he's known me since I was but a little lordly. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt.
Show me. That's Town Hall. Seems a good place to trade. Does it? The market is flush with goods. <laughs> Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. I 
I suppose this is where our servants purchased them. Lincoln's boon was ours as well. <coughs> how often did you leave your house? I don't know how you're supposed to get the presents. Oh, from time to time. Yes. Let's see. Archer! Head every! Tell Lord Hunbeor his son has returned! My lord, you're well. Lord Hunwar, you should have sent forewarning of your return to avoid the violence that dogs you. Lives might have been spared. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north, bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I'm not the Dane he's been plowing, and I don't own a farm. I know you mean well, Bishop, but there's no cause to insult Swanborough's honor. You leave my lady love out of this. Ah, your mystery Dane has a name. Sadly, the people of the Shire will hardly be comforted. Now that you have swelled your father's tolerance for pagans into a sin. I have no patience for insults and rumor. We've come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That's all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Unwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against the Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. Hunwald's seen the point of a dagger more than once this week. I'm only here to protect him. Your father was at my hospice for some days, and very well treated. But he left in secret. That's all we know. In secret? That's odd. He's not one to scurry about in the dark. I'm sorry, Hunwald. We have searched high and low for him, but to no avail. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scurrying thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I will have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Are you the head sky? And I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a watch. It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here. And getting worse, in spite of our efforts, then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bath. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. 
So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern wall. Ruins just south of here. I pray you find him. Tunnels, if you ask me. These tunnels run deep. Was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? Mercians traipsing across our routes. Can't piss from here to Bolingbrock without someone demanding some un... Horses.
what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits did not fare so well. A noble's cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the elder men passed this way. Saxon noblemen paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbroke Castle. Mercy and nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles, but it did not end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the elderman's cloak was torn off, but he got away and headed east for Bolingbroke Castle. That's my best lead. Bowling Brook Castle, okay. Which is this right here. Is this way up? Fresh air. Ride my horse there, we got a fast job. Can't even take my boat because this is a little bit of a boat. Show me what lies ahead. I was actually in the castle. This place is heavily guarded.
shall see. Right track. That keep is well protected. Can't like waddle through that area. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> you think they could like get over those little things? But apparently not. Stretch your wings soon. I think I went the wrong way. I think I went the wrong way. I think I went the right way. I think I went the wrong 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 way. Prepared. Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elden? I heard voices as I entered. Were you speaking with him? Does his Hooger speak through you? I am not sure what to call it precisely. Words form in my mind, and I give them voice. Often, they sound like my dear lord. Can I ask a favor of him? On behalf of his son, Punwald. You could try, but he never speaks when others are present. Why has your elderman's death been obscured? The people of Lincolnshire deserve to know his fate. Punwald, above all. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I have seen all I need to, but Hunwald will need... Of course. 
You're welcome to search through his effects. Though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. I do not know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Dried herbs and berries, crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. A box of musty clothing and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Hunwald and Lincoln. Eivor! What? Your father is dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Hunbior's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong. A pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... Oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer. Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son. Do not forget it. Keep steady, Hunwald. You are now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain. Last in a line of dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing moon calf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that one. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. You need a new elderman here, and it falls to King Cheobald to make that choice. For well, once we find agreement, Eivor, the nobles here will convene a shy mood to select a new candidate. The winner will stand before the king for approval. Explain how this works. Your Shire Moot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot. But between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. Someone in the Shire wants Hunwald dead. If I have to assemble an army to make sure this meeting is not an ambush, I will. The Shire Mood is a lawful, godly assembly. Hunwald will be safe, as will you be. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the Elderman's seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land, and I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire and... Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands. With kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. With Hunbior's death an open secret, Hunbior's enemy... With Hunbior's death an open secret, Hunbior's enemies may strike again.
solve for our freshman. Okay. Spectacular. Archer, where is Hunwald? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road, to the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. I have been... What's going on? What a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Unwald. Come, sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate. Contemplate. Contemplate the view. Collect yourself, Unwald. There's many a man in Lincolnshire who'd pay to see your head on a pike. Well, they can wait a moment. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the mead of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To you, Hunwald. You have love in your heart and hope in your eyes. That's more than many can say. Evil, I... I can't begin to... All right, Lord. You're all right. Skull! Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat. But it's the wrong end! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. 
She has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right. Your Dane lady love. She sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Uh, gr Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Drunken horse riding. Can't now come and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You have never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor full, why come to England at all? You cannot grow crops on a blanket of jewels. <laughs> Very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect them. I know many think me foolish and inexperienced. But I would ask that they judge like me by my future my hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. Eivor, has no one told them today is a day of grief? Shh, quiet. I see somebody saying right there. Yeah. Shh, stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Twice they tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed! We had luck, but if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead, and they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away! I am serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me! Hunwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. 
Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. Pendal, I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. Getting to know one another will have to wait. Hoonwald is in danger, and so are you. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. Then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here out of sight until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. This Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Rest, Hunwald. By sunrise, you'll have shed all your tears and pissed out the last of the ale. Eivor is right, Hunwald. Tomorrow is a new day. Yes. Yes. Resting next to my angel will heal all that is broken within me. Be well, Eivor. And thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I do not doubt it.
Welcome, well. Hey, welcome to my estate, old yeah, friend. Sponsor was for went back to streaming. Thane Elfgar, it's an impressive it's amount impressive of land you oversee. Quite well, right. Tomorrow. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. Oh, quiet. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. If this belonged to the elderman, shouldn't it go to Hunwald next? I suppose so. But I thought you a more fitting recipient. You'd know how to use it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shiremouths. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, eh, for a superior lifestyle. Damn, this might be pretty good. Badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear. Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god. Uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herofriv and Funwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not Danes. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived. Not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Elgar? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. Wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? Well, I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. Don't be frightened, Grim, but I believe Elvgard has arranged for us to meet. Oh, goodness, I've been discovered. But it's nothing untoward, I promise. I'm an honest man, and I believe that all people should live together in harmony. That's all. Hey, Leibor, did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear. That's the point of all this. We're hunting, I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgar claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. I bet I can if take it out the by bear, myself. We'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. This is the 
threshold of a beast's home. There's no doubt in that. That's not a bear. Wolves. Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled in orphan, I can't tell you how to handle this, but please! Like casually walks down the hill when his town is. Oh, I'm going to him. It's this guy. The men who would see. Agreed. You're a man of many riches, Algar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! The Shirewood will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. Archer, the Shiremoot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm...
When will the vote begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It is not an easy choice to make, but I will choose with care. I promise. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. Free men? Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It is not for myself I must cast the stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Kunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Leave your shire with pride, ferocious swan. It is decreed by this lawful shire moot that the elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed Lord Hunfjord. Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. I... I don't know what to say. I thank you. Deeply, madly, humbly. What more can I say? I... I don't know. I miss my father. I'd sooner see him standing here than... Well, I will do my best. For each and every one of you. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. As all well know, this Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? Nobles of Lingenshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive!
This one's gone. Find those who still draw breath. Polish your ass, Hunwald. The Elderman's seat is yours. As your war counsel, I suggest you waste no time in catching this grief tosser. He won't be far. We should first bury our dead, no? That choice is yours to make, Elderman. Yes. Yes, of course. We'll bury our dead, then raise a feared. at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or, or the gods protect you. What news, Hunwald? We've learned that Herivrith rode for the fort at Anicastri, following the mass. I have assembled a feared there. Quite a large one, in fact. They eagerly await your orders, eh? You mean your orders, Elderman? Ah, yes, that's right. My orders. Which are... Which are what, exactly? Who can say? Ride with me to your camp and we'll find out together. Herivrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Herifrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man. Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft. But stranger still, I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Don't be hasty, Humboldt. One verse of our song remains unsung. The din of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Atya taken all this? She and Herivrik were so close. She must fail as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. A poor lady. We spoke briefly. Her spirits were low, but her work carried on. 
I think she'll be fine. Manipulated by a man who should be God's gladdener. Who's fetching the turf this time, eh? Don't want to freeze to death here. Our warsmith has arrived. The fields are ready to fight. Chief Denable, can we win this fight with the men you see assembled? If they fight with the bravery of double their number, we may. And is there room in your Valhalla for a ferocious swan? Of course. Let fly your glorious banner. Are we ready, then? We attack now. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Here's the... Mm. Breaching the outer wall, like usual. The best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along. to the bishop. No one else need die today. He, he's, he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scabra's a coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. Valde in regno de Faraoni. With me, brother. Obsessus quid propheta mosi implicari mala magna fe. Must be going from the other side.
So, I think the first four doors are all barred, so I'm gonna look for another way in. died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancient dead. That's the folly of mankind, Herifrith. We wallow in our failures. Like happy pigs in a sty of shit, we should have learned to enjoy it. Evil. Is he... Is the bishop dead? He bled too little and talked too much. Now he's gone. I won't miss him. But Atcha will need some time to grieve. Lincolnshire is yours to lead, Elderman. The hardest fight begins now. The din of battle still rings in my ears. I think I now know what it means to be a leader. Good. I would ask a favor if I could. Name it. As Elderman, my life may be a dangerous one. For a time, anyway. Would you allow my Swanborough to take refuge in your settlement? At least until I feel all danger has passed. We'd be happy to have her. Thank you, my sturdy Norse berserker. The mead halls of my shire will be lonely without you stomping about. Our people are bonded now. We must look out for one another. Blast it. I am a horror with goodbyes. It'll do for now. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. All right, and that's what I'll report back and then we'll end the stream. Oh, wait, this is in Yuvershire, and I can't, it's why I can't, I know what that is, it's why I can't get it told. I'll get to the story. So I'll kill this guy, and now we can go after this guy. So we can find Mark on the target. Now we're gonna report back, check our inventory out. What points we have? Two mastery points. Have to go back to the town. Report back. Next time we'll work on the next region.
Look at you, Chewie. He was not rubbish. I intended to use him. Ah, both of you are winners. Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. We'll state your cases and I'll hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sail cloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced. With scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You're well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Guthrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or barter, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see, as a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state and so obscured from view. I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Guthrun disposed of something, and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. All right. I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hulk has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Guthron are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Abel. Welcome, Sky. You know this. Sky is a Stand aside. sponsor. Looking to start streaming. You are not here, brother. Here, so make sure Nor did it out. I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such Those a bold defiance. I hope you, you enjoy today? it. Are you finished singing, my dear Skull? My Jarl, as I was saying, Stop! I Stop! Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holge, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holge the liar, you sink lower. You become Holge the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood. All in the name of your stupid stories. She could you all know it. Crazy. That is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 Selthos. 30 times? Surely you jest. That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay pranks, Holgate? Pay the fee or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd is our Jarl. His word is law, whether or not you agree. You 
you see? Of course, by all. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <gasps> Pleasure to see you, Eivor. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when the secret would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a sight you have seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press... Lincolnshire is a friend to us. Wonderful news. And who is our ally there? The boy Hunwald is the new elderman of Lincolnshire. And he has sworn allegiance to us. The loud one, an elderman? Well, should he ever wish to call for aid, he need only shout. <laughs> it's like Will. Save it. Let me find the thing on sponsors over on YouTube. We have Sky 8, so make sure to check them out and support them there. Over on YouTube and Twitch, we have Hell for Spice and Will of Firefox, so please check them out on both YouTube and Twitch. Subscribe to them too, follow them on Twitch. Don't forget Randall Sands over on Twitter at Randall Sands. Um, as for me, Oh yeah, keep building the community, keep making friends, let's all grow together. As for me, I am your gaming host, Colin Mastio, here on the Kingsland Network. If you like what you saw, please drop a like and subscribe, comment down below, follow me over on Twitch, same name, Kingsland Network. But hit me up directly, talk to me on Discord or on Twitter at KingslayerNet. I will be back Friday with some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I think we have about like eight chapters left, so we should be done by the end of January. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Until then, guys, stay slaying and enjoy the outro. Shadow turns to sun rays and on and on we